Hello everyone, my name is Brynn and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to talk to you about why I decided to study the course I'm studying at ANU. So I am studying a Bachelor of International Relations at the Australian National University. I started studying it this January, just gone, just before all of the everything started. I chose to take a gap year before I studied just to make sure that this was really what I wanted to do. There are a few factors to why I chose to study this course at the ANU, but first I suppose I should explain what I've been doing before I studied this course. I studied the HSC, so that's the test we do at the end of year 12 in New South Wales in Australia. After that, I decided to go on a gap year. Um, I decided to travel all around Europe, and I was doing a lot of thinking about what I wanted to do um, when I came back to Australia and whether I wanted to pursue going to university or whether I wanted to pursue something else. So I got accepted into all six of the courses I applied to through UCAS. I applied to five courses in the first round and one course in the second round. In my first round, I applied for a Bachelor of Arts at Macquarie. This was my backup choice. A Bachelor of Media, Screen and Sound at UNSW. A Bachelor of Law at UNSW. A Bachelor of Journalism and International Relations, a double degree, at UNSW and a Bachelor of International Relations at the ANU. And then in my second round, after getting accepted into those, I also applied to do a double degree at the ANU, a Bachelor of International Relations and a Bachelor of Politics, Philosophy and Economics. So in deciding what to study, there are a few important factors I had to take into account, and that's what I spent my year thinking about last year. I had to think about whether I would actually enjoy the course I was doing, what sort of job prospects there were for me in the future, and whether there was the ability to pursue further study afterward in something that I was really interested in. So although I got accepted into the film courses that I really, really wanted to do because I love doing film, I decided against that because I felt like for me, I wasn't going to be able to secure many jobs prospects after I left. That was just a personal decision because I didn't think I was good enough at film to end up doing very well at it. So I decided against film studies and then I also had the other courses at UNSW and one of the really big factors for me about choosing not to go to UNSW was the cost of living in Sydney. Um, it was just, it was too high for me to be able to afford on my own and I didn't really want to ask my parents to support me. I wasn't really thinking about going to Macquarie because that was my backup choice. I chose to apply there because my mum studied at Macquarie and so I was getting an alumni scholarship but I didn't really want to do a Bachelor of Arts. That was just my choice in case all else failed. But Macquarie's a really good university. I just chose not to go there personally. So that brings me to why I chose to study here at the ANU in Canberra. So there were probably three or four factors that were the main reasons why I chose to study here. I chose to come to Canberra because it's quite central to my hometown on the south coast of New South Wales, only two or three hours drive away for my parents to come and visit me during the week or on a weekend or for me to head back home during the holidays. Canberra is a regional city so I come from quite a regional area in Australia anyway and I'm not so used to the big city environment. Although when I lived overseas I lived in quite a lot of big cities, I felt as though coming back home I wanted to move to a smaller area with that felt more more regional in a sense, more rural, but not really rural. It still has all the benefits of living in a city, but as well as that, you get to be around all these great green spaces. Canberra has been designed really well so that you always feel like you're close to nature, even when you're in the middle of the city. So you have things like Lake Billy Griffin, which is the man-made lake in the center of Canberra. Um, we have a lot of parklands near our house. There's, you know, Mount Ainsley, there's a lot of things near Black Mountain Tower that you can go up to. There's just a whole lot of green space that you can be in and you can enjoy nature in. And for me that was really important. So the second reason I decided to study here in Canberra at the ANU was because of the courses that were offered. For me this was a big part of the decision making process and I needed to know that I was going to go to a university that had the kind of courses I was interested in. I'm in a very privileged position where I can decide to go to university not just based on the 
financial aspects of the university or the location of the university, but I am able to decide where to go just based on a course I enjoy. I was driven by a need to find a university that offered courses that I was really interested in. I had struggled a lot during the end of my schooling to feel engaged with school, and I wanted my university experience to reflect my own interests, decided to look at all of the subjects offered or all of the courses offered within the degree. I was lucky to find that a lot of the politics courses focused on subjects that I was interested in anyway, and I focused my research on things like legitimacy of governments, comparative politics, and a lot about Europe, especially Spain. And I found that a lot of the courses at the ANU offered certain elements that would be able to further my understanding of those things I was already interested in. My third reason for choosing to go to the ANU was because of the great lecturers that they have here. So a lot of our lecturers are either professionals in their field or were professionals in their field and have come back to then lecture at university or they have been academics all of their life and have produced some really really amazing research. So one of my lecturers at the moment has written, I think it's about 40 different academic papers and then another 10 books throughout his lifespan about comparative European politics. It's amazing to learn from people who have been so experienced in their research careers and in their professional careers. I find it really great to learn from people who've already had experience in the Australian government. So a lot of my tutors are coming back for a master's degree or a PhD and they've already had experience working in government departments, which is something that I might be interested in in the future. I found that by listening to their experiences and by the knowledge they've accrued over their study careers, um, they have a lot of information that they can give us about government departments, which ones might be suited to us, how the interviews go, what sort of things we should be doing to increase our employability. This brings me to my final point. I chose to study at the ANU because I believe that it will afford me great career opportunities after I graduate. Not only will I possibly be able to come back for a master's degree, but I will be right here at the doorstep of International Australia. Canberra is a hub of international relations activity in Australia, and although I'm not sure I want to go into business or politics at the moment, here in Canberra I'm afforded both opportunities with the Australian government and many other privately owned companies working within both the policy sector and the business sector. So, as you can see, these are the four reasons why I chose to come and study at ANU. If you've got an offer to study here or you're interested to study here in the future, I really recommend having a look into it, having a look into some information about the city and the university and the courses they offer. While the ANU is a great university, I'm not saying that there aren't detriments to studying here. In a future video, I think I'm going to go into the pros and cons that I've found of studying at ANU, especially during the coronavirus and what their response to the coronavirus has been and how they've supported students. So that's all for today's video. I hope you found out something interesting about the ANU and my reasons for why I studied here in Canberra. If you enjoyed today's video, give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below if you'd like to see more videos about the ANU. Subscribe to my channel for more of my content and I'll see you next time.